a maintenance checklist is a document in which we track all the maintenance related issues so that it can be reviewed on timely basis and appropriate action can be taken in today's video we will see how to make a maintenance or a complaint sheet the sheet will be fully automated and we will have to update hardly something in this sheet we are going to track when the complaint was raised when it was resolved and how many days it took to be resolved is the work done or still pending what was the nature of the complaint we are going to track every small thing in this checklist let's start the video without any delays this is a complaint or maintenance follow up log which i have already created in advance there are few things like issues means you will have to highlight or type or mention all your issues over here store code ticket number if your issues get registered in system you can mention ticket number over here or you can leave it priority low high medium urgent so priorities will be managed by drop downs and it will be automatically colored information date whenever issues or complaint comes you will have to mention information date over here and whenever the issues get resolved you will have to mention completion date over here the rest of the things will be managed by formulas if i'll remove completion date from here you will see that pending from days is showing and time taken in completion is showing zero and status it's pending and comments it's take follow up as soon as i'll be putting completion date over here all the things will be changed so i'll put completion date over here and you will notice that the days which were in pending from it shifted to time taken in completion status became done and it got green and comment became needs more focus so let's start creating a new sheet one thing more over here the department will be managed by drop downs let's start creating a new sheet first thing is priority so we will create drop down for priority we will be going to data then we will be going to data validation we will be going to drop down and we will be selecting the list in source we will type urgent high medium low and we will do okay we will drag this till down and our drop down is created now we will highlight this to highlight this we will have to go in home then conditional formatting highlight cell rule text that contains and over here we will type urgent we will keep urgent as red so we will do it okay again we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule text that contains this time we are going to take high we will put high as red color so we will do it okay again conditional formatting highlight cell rule text that contains this time we will put medium and we will select yellow color will do okay again we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule text that contains and this time we will take low we will select green color over here and we will do okay now we will drag this till down urgent high medium and low so our drop downs as well as color format is working very well information date we will take information date from back sheet and we will paste it over there now we will be calculating the formula of pending from and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open completion date is greater than 0 comma double inverted comma 0 double inverted comma close comma if bracket open information date is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma 0 double inverted comma close comma today bracket open bracket close minus information date and we will close the bracket till our bracket doesn't get black we will do enter now we will drag this till end time taken in completion we will be inserting the formula and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open completion date is equal to zero comma double inverted comma zero double inverted comma close comma completion date minus information date bracket close and we will do enter we will drag this till end Currently it's showing zero because we haven't put anything in completion date. We will take completion date from backside. We will paste it over here. One thing you will notice that the days which were showing in pending from it directly shifted to time taken in completion. I'll remove this once. It shifted to pending from days. I'll paste it once again and the days shifted to time taken in completion. Now we will be coming to status and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open information date is equal to zero comma double inverted comma two times comma if bracket open pending from is equal to double inverted comma zero double inverted comma close comma double inverted comma done double inverted comma close comma if bracket open time taken in completion 
is equal to double inverted comma zero double inverted comma close comma double inverted comma pending double inverted comma close bracket close and we will close the bracket till it doesn't get black enter now we will drag this till end we will be going to conditional formatting so that we can highlight it highlight cell rule text that contains done we will highlight done as green okay conditional formatting once again highlight cell rule text that contains and we will put pending we will leave it as red so it's done now we will be putting the formula for the comments and the formula will be plus or equal to if bracket open information date is equal to zero comma double inverted comma two times comma if bracket open completion date is equal to zero comma double inverted comma take follow up double inverted comma close comma if bracket open time taken in completion is smaller than or equal to 10 comma double inverted comma good job double inverted comma close comma if bracket open time taken in completion once again is bigger than or greater than 10 comma double inverted comma needs more focus needs more focus double inverted comma close and we will close the bracket till it doesn't get black enter we will drag this till end now we will highlight it we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule text that contains needs more focus we will leave it as red again we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule text that contains and we will put good job over here we will do it green okay again we will be going to conditional formatting highlight cell rule text that contains and take follow up we will do it yellow we will do okay one thing more we will have to insert drop down over here for the department so we will be going to data data validation over here we will select list and we will type the source so our department where operations training it hr and we will do okay and over here drop down is created i'm sure you must have loved the video please don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon with a new topic till then bye bye